It is no secret we live in a beautiful place. Northern Michigan is a vacation destination for many. With festivals, sightseeing, and ongoing tourism, we wanted to know how many locals actually experience the vacation side of our area. Every Friday at 5, 9 and 10's Jenny Bouchel will try to answer that question. She gives us a closer look at what's going on at Shorts Brewery in tonight's Hometown Tourist. Shorts Brewing Company. You know the name, the logo, and there's a good chance you know the taste. But what about how they make it? It all started in 2002 when Joe Short let the creative juices flow. I don't know if you ever watched the old Ed Sullivan show, but they used to have this one guy on all the time who would balance like 20 plates in the air on these rods and spin them and spin them and spin them, and they'd be playing this music. Yeah, while he's spinning all these plates. That's what Joe does constantly. Meet Jack our shorts dude slash tour guide at the Elk Rapids production facility. We start our tour outside. <laughs> it looks like sawdust. Is it? It does. Does it taste like sawdust smells? No, it tastes kind of like, um, you know, a, a, a porridge or a, a malted Like an oatmeal, cereal. like yeah. a raw, okay. Yeah. Yeah. A raw grain. Mm -hmm. The grains taste like grains, imagine that. <laughs> The big silo holds 72,000 pounds of grain. Brewers punch in the amount of grain they need and then it's ciphered into the brew house. Right now there are five brewers working around the clock Monday through Saturday and every year they're required to think up at least one new recipe. But typically they'll brainstorm six or more each. The grain is pumped into the mash tank with water and brought up to 170 degrees. It's called striking the mash. We're having a conversion factor and that conversion factor is changing the simple starches to sh simple sugars, which is what we want for the fermentation process. Then over in the brew kettle, they add pellets of hops. This okay. and they'll, they'll melt down and separate in the, in the boiling water. But wow. these are super, 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 super concentrated. From there, we make way to the cellar room filled with endless wonders. This is almost, it reminds me of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the Choco River. I have no idea what's actually flowing here, but it's, it's the Shorts River. We're going to fill up one of these, and then we're going to add the yeast. Okay, so this is the last ingredient for regular beers before, you know, we had shorts add all the crazy things that we add. Yeah. So, the crazy good things that we add. CO2 adds carbonation, then pasteurized and filtered one more time. And finally, we have official beer. This is the first time that the smell smells like beer to me. 360 to 420 cases are packaged every hour. Glass bottles are lifted and filed onto the line where they're labeled and stamped with date and time. But the names on the bottles? Howlin' Chinowski, Huma Lupalicious, I mean, you can't write this stuff. Or if you can, then who does? Anyone in the company can come up with an idea and then we'll all bounce that idea back and forth. It's, it's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's a roundabout for you know, creativity, uh, for ideas, uh, it's pretty wide open. In the final seconds, bottles are rinsed with cold water, topped with CO2, and last but not least, filled with the good stuff. And though you can't legally pop a brew here at the plant, there's still something to take away. It is definitely beer drinking and cider drinking. The appreciation of it, the love of it, is very Americana. I hope they leave with that idea. I'm Jenny Bouchelle, your hometown tourist on 9 and 10.